morning and welcome to the first episode of Crazy Monday. Things that we talk about this week will be in the Sunday quiz, so take notes. You can do that on your phone. Or simply on a notebook. So on this Crazy Monday, we're going to talk about the difference between two very confusing words. Use your brain, look at the words, and think about the difference. Do you know the difference between fun and funny? In Italian, they've got the same meaning. But in English, you have to be very careful. Is skiing fun or funny? Hmm. Funny is something that makes you laugh. <laughs> fun is something that you like to do. So, for example, Kekko Zalone is really funny. <laughs> Skiing, going out with your friends, play, is fun. Can you give me an example of something fun and something funny? Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Today, I want to talk about irregular verbs. So now, look at them, use your brain, and think about the other forms, all right? So, past simple and past participle. Now, let's try to use these irregular verbs to make sentences using the present perfect and then the past simple. Try to remember the rule from last week. Example number one. I have made a cake. I made a cake yesterday. Not true. I have eaten so much, I'm exploding. Why? Oh, because yesterday I ate two pizzas. I really hope this was clear. Now it's your turn to try to make two sentences using give, gave, given. You can do it. No one is going to judge you. Don't worry. Just try. Good morning, it's Pronunciation Wednesday. Let's talk about silent letters. I'll show you a list of words. I want you to think about the pronunciation. Try to read them. In each of these words, there is one silent letter. Number one, Wednesday, Wednesday. Number two, fruit, fruit. Number three, walk, walk. Number four, bomb, bomb. Number five, island, island. This is how we actually read them. Isn't it amazing?
morning. Okay, so it's uh, Grammar Thursday, and today I want to introduce Future with Will. Don't panic, don't worry. Let's start with a small step. First, I will show you all the uses of Future with Will. Then you will look at different sentences and try to recognize what use it is. So you know, the future is my favorite grammar topic and I'm gonna try to make it as easy as possible for you. Everything you need to know about future with will. When you find one of these expressions, don't even worry about it, use future with will. We also use it for instant and rapid decisions. I'll go open the door. For offers and refusals. That looks difficult, I'll help you. No, I won't do that. We use it for promises. I will love you forever. For requests. Will you do that for me, please? For general predictions based on your opinion. In 2050, cars will fly. And last but not least, for inevitable events. The sun will rise tomorrow at 6 a.m. So there are seven uses of future with will. How many of them did you know? Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. Uh, today, I'd like to share with you um, a recipe uh, to succeed in learning English. Five ways to learn English without studying. Number one, set your phone and your computer in English. You have no idea how many things you're going to learn just by using your phone every day. Number two, Choose your favorite movie or a Disney cartoon and watch it in English. Subtitles only in English. Number three, download a fun English app and play games with it. Number four, listen to your favorite English songs and while you do that, read the lyrics. Number five, watch my TikTok videos. Amazing! These are some of my favorite apps and let me know if you have any other questions. Good morning, Instagram friends. So this week we talked about one, the difference between fun and funny. Two, irregular verbs. Three, <laughs> silent letters. Seven uses of future with will and the idiom as happy as a clam. You can revise everything watching the highlighted uh, stories on my page and also uh, looking at the posts. I'd like you to do today is a sort of game. Uh, you have to look for a filter that now I will show you. Um, play this game and then if you want you can post the story and tag me. Okay, I'm ready. Whose jacket is that? W-H-O-S-E, uh, not whose. Yay. Yeah, so this uh, filter is kind of fun and it's a good way to revise and learn new things. I hope you like it and I will see you tomorrow for our quiz. Uh, have a great day. The puppy licked my sister and I, uh, and me, me, me. Let's see. Yes. So if you are new on this page, don't worry. You can revise everything on my highlighted stories or on my posts. 
if you want to take the quiz. If you don't, don't worry. Tomorrow we start over because it's a new week for all my other followers. Good luck. Here we go. Hi guys, I think the quiz went pretty well. I'm really happy. Uh, the average score is about 8 out of 10.